Ever find yourself wondering about the Star Trek multiverse, its concepts, and characters? Do you spend your time thinking about how deep science fiction goes? Hi, this is Trek Expertise, where we discuss all things sci-fi through the lens of Star Trek. In this episode, we take a look at the meaning behind science fiction's faster-than-light technology. One of the long-standing pillars of science fiction is space travel. Spaceships full of humans of various stripes and persuasions have been moving about the universe of our imaginations for a long time now, visiting planet after planet for exploration. Glad to see you're getting in the spirit of things. Pest extermination. Or even the occasional surfing trip. In reality, we currently do not have the capacity to travel to another star system. Just for the sake of scale, Let's say that we found a way to carry enough fuel with us that we could make the trip to our nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, which is a mere 4.37 light years away. The fastest speed recorded by a human-made object is 25 miles per second, as set by the Juno spacecraft. How long would a voyage to Alpha Centauri take at that speed? The answer is about 33,000 years. Please note that humans have only been building cities for about 10,000 years. So, better pack a lunch. You can quickly see that the problem of interstellar travel in fiction had to be solved if we were ever going to get anywhere interesting. So science fiction tackled this hurdle by hypothesizing various transportation methods that could move us faster than light, or FTL. How do these FTL solutions function in the stories that use them? As with anything in sci-fi, it varies greatly. FTL travel appears in several different incarnations throughout science fiction, and more importantly, serves several different purposes for each universe and story. The vast majority of FTL concepts are based on nothing but pure imagination. A tiny fraction are distantly connected to something resembling a scientific concept, like the Bergenholm Drive from E.E. E. Doc Smith's Lensman series, which capitalizes on the special theory of relativity's inference that all massless particles and waves must travel at the speed of light in a vacuum. Within the Star Trek universe, warp drive serves as the primary mechanism through which humanity engages in its exploration of space, which is presented as the highest calling of our species. The warping of space-time allows starships to traverse great distances many times faster than the speed of light. A trip to Alpha Centauri at warp 9 would take, presumably, less than a day. For Star Trek, the FTL technology enables humanity to become the best possible version of itself. It unites humanity in a way that no one ever thought possible when they realize they're not alone in the universe. Poverty, disease, war, they'll all be gone within the next 50 years. In the Battlestar Galactica reboot, FTL travel takes the form of a sort of jump drive, allowing denizens of the universe to literally hop from one place to another without traversing the distance in between. Variations of this style of FTL can be found in other places, like Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda, and Frank Herbert's Dune. If it sounds like magic, that's because it is. Battlestar's FTL solution has no basis in science. However, the Battlestar FTL technology plays an integral role in the overall story. It is a critical key to humanity's salvation from the Cylon threat. In Dune, FTL utility is limited by the availability of the spice, the mind-altering addictive drug that allows for interstellar travel. Whoever controls the spice controls the application of FTL. Dune takes the approach that FTL fuel is a limited, contested raw material, like oil is in our own context. Dealing with spice in the Dune universe takes the form of the familiar colonial, political, and economic overtones from our own reality. Wormholes, not yet observed in our own universe, are rooted in the theoretical implications of Einstein's theory of relativity. They have popped up all over the place in fiction, from as far back as classics like Joe Haldeman's The Forever War and Madeline Lingle's A Wrinkle in Time. Famously, the Stargate franchise also makes heavy use of wormholes in order to explore the universe. However, unlike Warp Drive and Star Trek, where human potential is unlocked by traveling faster than light, Stargate's FTL solution is more for the purpose of intelligence gathering, a military exercise and strategy. In addition to the fact that most of these FTL concepts are not based on any science, quite a lot of them also have little to no utility in their respective stories. For these stories, FTL is nothing more than background decoration added on to make a fictional universe appear tech-savvy, or perhaps large. Take the hyperspace FTL technology of Star Wars. 
Considering how little the Star Wars universe relies on its FTL for plot points, it would have been very possible to set the entire franchise within the confines of a single star system at sublight speeds, and the core of the story would have lost nothing for it. So, if we start looking for the point of intersection between the fiction and the science, we notice that all these properties draw on the theory of relativity. Star Trek perhaps draws most directly, as it turns out that it may be possible to warp space-time in our own reality. In fact, Harold White and his team at NASA's Johnson Space Center are currently working on designing practical experiments to test the possibility. But even less hard science properties like Star Wars and Stargate organize their travel according to scientific principles. After all, in none of these stories do people cast spells or summon demons or use sacred objects to travel. They all use science-based machines. In each fictional universe, FTL technology serves a slightly different purpose. But there is one thing common to all, the assumption that the great spans of light years in the universe can be understood and conquered through science. Though faster than light travel is currently impossible in our reality, its frequent appearance in fiction represents the belief that humanity can someday reach past the current universal limit of the speed of light. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to the channel for future episodes. Also, check out Joe Hansen's video on the physics of space battles over on the It's Okay to Be Smart YouTube channel. You'll be glad you did.